An emotional service at the Nairobi Pentecostal Church Valley Road. In honor of the departed 142 students, three police officers, and three soldiers. Experiences moving many to tears. All of a sudden, the man started moving, stepping on us, on our backs, hitting us in our ribs. So when you make noise, you shout, he adds you more bullets. So by the time he reached me, he stepped me on the head, I kept quiet. He tried to hit me in my ribs, I kept quiet. He thought that I'm dead, but the boy or my fellow Christian who was near me was shot at the neck and it was like almost the neck was cut. So the blood was flowing all over. I got courage and wisdom from God. I laid, I rolled in that blood with my, my shirt in that the shirt became blood. So the man was satisfied that this guy is dead. So because of the... Very unfortunately, actually what made many people die by then, the cheated ladies and told them, we don't kill ladies, we just deal with men. So kindly come out and run because we want to rescue before we do away with the men around. Our ladies, all of them, they surrendered so that their lives could be at safer hands. But only did they understand that it was done. You can forget your name, but you can't forget the experience of Garissa University. Even if you happen to run mad, you can't forget what happened at Garissa University. Not so kind words for the Jubilee government that turned to today. I'm angry. I'm extremely angry because this is not something that's happening for the first time. You know, it's almost seem, it almost seems like the enemy is mocking us. You know, that I can hit you at any time, when I want to, how I want to, and there's nothing you can do about it. Corruption is the root of everything we are facing as a nation. As long as we still entertain corruption, you know, in our small own ways as the Wanainchi and in their big ways as government, then there's nowhere we are going. We keep singing the same song, we keep saying we are pursuing them, we keep saying, you know, their days are numbered. How many days are we giving them? You know, I keep hearing, uh, whether it's the president or politicians talking about, you know, we know uh, those who are corrupt, we are giving, we are telling them their days are numbered. How many days are we giving them? We, we cannot wait any longer. We are a hit because we are so divided. I pray that we would rise up and become one team and one voice so that when the church speaks, then it is 80% that is speaking we shall be listened to. But the moment we look at ourselves from our ethnicity, we shall be hit in the name of our ethnic belongings. Gladys Gashanja, NTV.